Today, I'm going to be presenting you with a homemade 3D model of the ocean floor. First, we're going to start with this little board right here, which represents the continental shelf. The continental shelf is a gradually sloping area which borders each continent. Its width varies from just a few kilometers to as much as 1,300 kilometers from the shore. Next is the continental slope, which I put these wooden rods up to represent that. And a continental slope is just a steady incline. And the continental slopes in the Pacific Ocean are steeper than those in the Atlantic Ocean. Next we have Volcanic Islands, which is right here. Volcanic Island, or a volcanic island, is when volcanoes on the ocean floor erupt. They can create mountains so high that their peaks break the surface of the ocean. As lava cools and hardens, an island forms. And then, just below that, we have a little sea mount. A sea mount is mountains whose peaks do not break the surface of the ocean water above them. So they are just underwater and they're called sea mountains. And then right below that we have our abyssal plain. Thick layers of sediment forward, formed by the sunken remains of dead organisms on the surface covered, cover these vast flat plains. And then as we keep going along, right in front we have the mid-ocean ridge. A mid-ocean ridge consists of many peaks along both sides of the continental valley. This chain of undersea mountains runs all over the world. And at the very back here, we have a trench. These canyons include the deepest spots on Earth. The Marina Trench in the Pacific is 11 kilometers deep. And altogether, that makes my 3D model of the ocean floor.